Hi, welcome to a newly listed clip. I'm your host, Barrington Miller from the Canadian Securities Exchange. And today I'm here with the good doctor, Dr. Rahul Koshwa, CEO of Deep Spatial Inc. Welcome to the show, Rahul. Thanks, Barrington. It's a pleasure. Uh, first off, you're a new dad. <laughs> How's that going? Well, or that's keeping a new me... dad again. <laughs> <laughs> a new dad again. And that's keeping me insanely busy. I think I've kind of lost track of day, night, which day it is, if it's the weekend. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but speaking of which, you do have another baby, and that's called Deep Spatial Link. Tell mm -hmm. us about Deep Spatial and what it is you guys do. Uh, so Deep Spatial is an artificial intelligence company, and we are pretty much at the intersection of uh, GIS, uh, or geospatial data, and artificial intelligence. And that is more from the context of the pain points that plague business and are plaguing businesses even more so considering the COVID-19 pandemic. So with any business you talk about, the biggest challenges tend to be them understanding their market, where they should be opening, who are their customers, what they should be selling, what price they should be selling, what is the sentiment around what they're selling? And at the same time, how can they optimize the, uh, the entire supply chain? Because that's where there is a significant loss in revenue in many industries. And those are the pain points which are being addressed by Deep Spatial. So the way how it all works is that with Deep Spatial, uh, we leverage a lot of proprietary data sets along with the data sets that we gather from third party. But the other, the other most important factor in there is the data that comes in from the business. And once there is layering of these different parameters in our proprietary AI algorithms, what are turned out are actually specific insights that have an impact on the bottom line. And that's why the four different products that uh, we are launching and have launched with Deep Spatial, uh, well, the first one pertains to uh, sentiment analysis. It's about understanding how do people perceive your brand? What do they think about your business? Uh, the second one is understanding the customers, where they are, where you should be going to identify those customers. Uh, the third one is the uh, price analysis, that based on what people are looking for, what they're buying, how can you stay competitive, how you should price it, should certain things be on sale? And uh, the last one is uh, supply chain optimization. In other words, how can you optimize the entire supply chain of bringing products in? And at the same time, what kind of SKUs you should be uh, selling in your store on, or in your business so you can maximize your sales and improve your bottom line? Uh, who are you attracting? So there are many different segments that we are focused on. Uh, I mean, uh, we have done some previous work with one of the largest uh, uh, beer uh, manufacturer or brewery in the world, and that was for Mexico City, where they had where they got some very specific insights, and clearly uh, that went really well. Along with that, we have helped some major retailers in Asia in terms of identifying uh, new areas where they should be expanding, and more importantly, what is that one most important factor that plays a role in the success of their stores? Um, along with that, uh, I mean, just is this something we announced a few weeks ago? Uh, we have signed a contract with a large food player out of Asia, and they want to use Deep Spatial to pretty much understand their customer base and also to expand into uh, new markets so they can improve uh, their revenues and also uh, improve their profit margin. Um, uh, but along with that, I mean, there's definitely a lot which has been happening behind the scenes because for us right now, the biggest focus is around business development. And um, with our last announcement that we had, we have also appointed uh, a sales head for um, Asia Pacific. Uh, his name is uh, Dave. And uh, uh, he comes from a very strong sales and business development pedigree in the tech space. I mean, he has acted as the country head of sales for major tech organizations based out of the U.S., and now he's playing a very strategic role with Deep Spatial. Well, let's uh, let's piggyback off of that and talk about the rest of your team and the people that help that is helping Deep Spatial. Uh, so, so with Deep Spatial, um, I mean, as much as I'm I'm talking about, uh, let's say, a, a business which is focused on selling products, the reality is uh, the platform can be leveraged by anyone who's operating in a manner where there is any kind of geospatial context to it. Uh, we can talk about infrastructure, uh, finance, um, 
I mean, of course, retail is a big one. Um, again, any kind of business you talk about these days does have a geospatial context. And that's why we have assembled a very strong team, a team of advisors and consultants that actually help us with, their, with key strategic areas. Um, I mean, uh, we have uh, directors from uh, Microsoft, uh, Google, uh, previous directors of uh, Enbridge and Starbucks who have come on board and are helping us big time with business development and also in terms of streamlining our offering to better understand what is it that the customer is looking for. Um, along with that, uh, we've also brought on other strategic advisors from companies like uh, Vodafone. Um, and again, that's more about uh, getting those strategic partnerships in place so we can have access to a lot of data that can be used to optimize our algorithms. So again, our focus is around uh, developing an arsenal of products that can cater to many different markets. And the way how I look at deep spatial is that it's more of a geospatial artificial intelligence engine. And we will be using that to develop a suite of products. Uh, I mean, some of those products are gonna be used in retail, some will be used in infrastructure, some in oil and gas sector. Uh, but again, at the end of the day, it is a multi-billion dollar market that we are addressing with deep spatial. I've had the privilege of interviewing other companies, uh, on, not only on the CSC, uh, but elsewhere via one of our shows that we had called Tech Tuesday. What is Deep Spatial's differentiator between uh, between what you're doing and the others that are out there? I guess first and foremost, what I would say is that um, the word artificial intelligence is really being thrown around as a buzzword these days. I mean, everyone uses us uh, in and out. Um, I mean, I'm going to use it as a hashtag. On this exactly. One. That's right. <laughs> so again, uh, but... A lot of companies, what they're still doing are more of glorified analytics, or perhaps a lot of them are just visualization tools. We are not saying that we are offering you a platform where you can visualize things and make it look prettier. What we are saying is no matter which visualization platform you're using in your business, you plug that in with our AI and you'll get some specific insights that will have an impact on the bottom line. And that is the biggest USP with Deep Spatial. Yep. Current investors and soon to be new investors, what do they have to look forward to with Deep Spatial in the next six to 12 months? So in the next six to 12 months, I mean, definitely you'll be announcing um, a lot more contracts from the business standpoint. There will be revenue growth. Uh, there will be strategic partnerships uh, with major organizations. Uh, and at the same time, there will be a lot of new product launches. Well, thank you, Dr. Rahul Kushwa and Deep Spatial Inc. Symbol DSAI trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange. My name is Barrington Miller, and this has been a newly listed clip with the Canadian Securities Exchange. Thank you. Thanks, Barrington. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>